that this video was originally going to be a review for The Unbecoming of Myra Dye by Michelle Hodkin, but then I thought, why not do three books in one, considering they remind me of each other? The Unbecoming of Myra Dye by Michelle Hodkin. It's a psychological thriller about a teenage girl who was in a tragic accident. She has a memory loss after her boyfriend, her best friend, and her boyfriend's sister dies. She meets a mysterious bad boy called Noah Shaw who is gorgeous and obnoxious and arrogant and in real life would probably be stoned to death. But of course in the literary world, he is quintessential bad boy material. Myra tries to piece all the bits and pieces together from her missing memory of the terrible night that her friends died and starts getting haunted by her dead friends. The book is written in first person and has keeps the audience in the dark. You don't know whether or not it's PTSD or if it's hallucinations or if it's all real. It was really creepy at times, but I enjoyed the creepiness, but it was so confusing. I don't know whether or not it's a product of the first person narrative, but there were a couple of big scenes in the book where I just wasn't following. It might be because of my tendency to skim read. I read this in about three or four hours, so chances were it was my fault. Like, I really didn't have any clue what was going on. I liked this book, but it didn't stand out from these two. Next is Slated by author Terry Terry. Slated has one of the coolest covers I have ever seen, but the story itself was kind of boring. The book is about a girl called Kayla who has been slated, which in this kind of dystopian society pretty much means that she was a terrorist or a criminal, and because she was under the age of 18, her mind was erased and she was given a fresh start. It's all government conspiracies and teenage romances and disappearing people, and I'm not going to read the second book even though I got it. Finally, Unremembered by Jessica Brody. This is a reader that I got through work, so I am apologise if I call the character Jenna, because I know she's not called Jenna in the actual published version of the book. Um, Unremembered is about a 16-year-old girl who is the sole survivor of a plane accident. She wakes up in a hospital. She has absolutely no memory of her identity. She doesn't know anything about it, anything. She doesn't know what food is. She doesn't know what the sun is. She doesn't know what planet she's on. She's pretty much like a child. There's a mysterious boy, yet again, who knows who she is or claims to and tries to help her get her memory back. There's a really cool twist in this and I really want to read the sequel, but I have no idea when it's going to be out. Film rights have actually been optioned for this book, so... Hopefully that grows ahead. A quick recap of the books based on the blurbs. When Myra Dye wakes up in a hospital with no memory of how she got there or any explanation as to why the bizarre accident that caused the deaths of her boyfriends and her two best friends left her mysteriously unharmed, her doctor suggests she starts over in a new city at a new school and just hope her memories gradually come back. But Myra Dye's new start is anything but comforting. She sees faces of her dead friends everywhere and now she's started to see other people's deaths before they happen. Is she going crazy? I'm leaving it there. Slated. Kayla's memory has been erased. Her personality wiped blank. Her memory's lost forever. She's been slated. The government claims she was a terrorist and that they are giving her a second chance as long as she plays by their rules. But echoes of the past whisper in Kayla's mind. Someone is lying to her and nothing is as it seems. Who can she trust in the search for the truth? 16-year-old Jenna is the sole survivor of an explosion on a plane. When she wakes up in a hospital, it's to find her memory is gone. The only clue to her identity is a mysterious boy who claims she was a part of a top-secret science experiment. The only person she trusts insists she shouldn't believe anything he tells her. Can Jenna work out who she is and where she came from? That was my exceedingly fast review of all three books. Personally, my favourites would be these two. Um, I'm going to go with this one because it was a psychological thriller. It was kind of creepy. You know I'm a complete horror movie nut. And so this one was right down my alley. That's all for tonight, Ash. It's 10.30. I'm going to bed. I'll see you next time. yesterday or was that a dream or is she still there after her new girl comes to school she is quite plain
Bye. 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 Mara Dyer, but my name is not Mara Dyer. Go away. Go away! Go away. Go away.